Behind the gun and wide open running down the seam. Stole the tight end. First and goal. Huskers from the five. Down. Get it to the tight end. Rumbling, stumbling down the field. Look at this guy. The mullets flow. Jack should be running down the clock instead of speeding tempo up against Nebraska. Johnson. Ball is out after a big hit. And the scoop for the Huskers. Lamar Jackson bringing the heat. Watch Jackson come off the edge here. That's a problem. Johnson has no idea. He doesn't feel the pressure at all. And Nebraska, when they need a big play, they found one from one of their studs on the outside. Against the four-man pressure. Intercepted. Picked off at the 30-yard line. It's Eric Lee and the cutback for the pick six. Right here, and you're going to see Eric Lee just jump and hit the spot. He just sees it all the way, bursts through the football. You gotta trust your instincts, and then nobody's gonna catch him down the sidelines. You wanna talk about a guy being prepared for the moment. That's Eric Lee taking it to the house. Direction well from their linebacker, Coach Barrett Rude, the all-time leading tackler in Nebraska history on the coaching staff. Spielman had some trouble initially, and now he's got some blockers across midfield. Down the near sideline, he goes. Spielman takes it. And a special team score for Nebraska. Kind of bobbled it a little bit here, able to break the tackle. Clearly an explosive player. He gets close to the sideline. A good job toe tapping there. Start of the fourth quarter, Nebraska up a touchdown on South Alabama. And the ball's out. And the defense scores for the second time today. Tim Taylor coming, sneaking right here. He's going to come unblocked. Again, trying to get that action away. But look at this. Bam, right on the back. Again, Cephas Johnson does not feel that pressure. Again, coming down on the outside. Cephas Johnson, watch his head. Everything's looking right. He doesn't even feel him coming. Those are the most dangerous ones right there on the backside. Huge play. Defense coming up big again for Nebraska. Delayed blitz from the safety position. That has got to be something that Cephas Johnson sees. The offensive linemen, their eyes are on that front line there. They're passing things off. But that's safety. That's got to be on the quarterback. Coming back to Baker, and it's intercepted. Went through his hands, and it's picked off by Cam. And out across midfield. The, the accuracy is off here. Sideline warning, Nebraska bench. There is no penalty, no yardage penalty for that. It is a warning. First down, Nebraska. Dismuke is in that hole there. Johnson feels him, throws the ball behind his receiver, but just too far. And Cam Taylor, who just has a knack right now, getting around big plays, especially in the second half. They will give it to Mills up the middle, has a huge hole. Here goes Mills down the sideline, off to the races. And Mills finally gets tackled by Marche Terry. Nebraska fans, this is just an easy zone read to the right side. He sees the cut in the A gap, gets a field, breaks the tackle. It's B. Spielman and, and then Robinson, they need more production from the perimeter. Handoff here to Washington, changes directions. Washington, again off to the races. There goes Washington. They're not going to catch him. 60-yard touchdown run. Anytime you can give somebody an inside zone, he cuts it back. He's one-on-one -on -one with the corner. Corner does not have a chance, and then you just see the speed. You just, you just see him leave everybody. That, that 19 seconds to go. Let's see how they handle this one. Wyatt Mazur's in the backfield. Martinez looking over the middle. The pass is caught by Robinson. Down to the 27, a 40-yard completion. We said, how are they going to handle situational football? Well, with this situation, not much time left on the clock. You need a big chunk play. And there they have it. Nice pass and catch to Wandale Robinson. You worry about the secondary for NIU. Well, they will get 
McKelty Williams back for the second half. That'll be big for the Huge. secondary for NIU after they lost Trayshawn Foster in the first quarter. From the 27, Martinez to the end zone. Incomplete. Noah, they say, was out of bounds. They're going to have to take a look at this one. They had both feet down, but let's take a look. Play. If the receiver was out of bounds, the play is Oh, no, he's in bounds. One there and one out, but that is a touchdown at the college level. Good defense by McKee Bay, but just not enough. From the 43 on first down, here's Washington with a big hole. Great cut! Oh. Washington to the outside! Can he turn the speed on? The angle was good for Illinois. Watch him break his ankles right here. <laughs> I mean, he just stopped all the defenders. <laughs> Almost broke his own ankles. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, but I know this. The guy can go. And see how he protected the ball? On the football, switch schools. Martinez shows you what he can do with his legs. Shows a burst in the open field. Can they catch him? He finally will fall forward and out of bounds down near the 10. And, and the Ohio State brings a corner blitz. Now look at, this looks like last year Ohio State. All the man-to-man -man coverage backs to the quarterback, and you don't even see that the quarterback's free and running. Nice move. There he goes. Wandell. Right on cue. Touchdown. But the freshman... Making a difference, 42 yards. In those categories, but it's the younger guys that are producing. Wow. One second and ten. How about that shot? Yeah. Wondell nice. Robinson. Going. Going. How do you do? Wow. Well, Wondell. For an injured defensive player. Well, Wondell's got great speed. There's no question about that. And again, the niftiness. Martinez to flip it to him. It's a four pass of sorts. And again, he gets upfield. But watch the speed on the back end to track him down. And here's another look at it, Timmy. This is this is how you draw up this play. You got to have players that can run down. Cameron Ruiz, I believe it is, or Kenson Hopper. Yep, it's Ruiz. Ruiz. Ruiz that tracks him down. I mean, the speed he had to go get, number one, was impressive. 48 yard line. Full. Compliment of timeouts. There's Wandell. We said he'd have to make a play, and he just did. These are in the right place, and they're very good with their run fits up front. Pedro looking. Throws. He's got a guy. Open. J.D. Spillman. Cuts back. Reverses, and then forced out of bounds. Welcome back home, D. Spielman, 51 yards. Well, and of course, J.D. Spielman, a couple of years ago, 291 yards of total offense, sneaks on a crossing route across that defense. So tough. Kind of a, a playmaker for the Hoosiers, and Demarcus Elliott has been playing really well. Second and three, and they're going deep, and that is caught right around the 10 by J.D. Spielman. He's right here in the slot, and he just beats the defender. J.D. Spillman has a good cushion. That helps out the undefeated teams in the Big Ten. Now this is Wandale Robinson, and he is breaking tackles. Back from injury, and inside the 10-yard line goes the freshman from Frankfort, Kentucky. I think for a guy that only stands 5'10", 190 pounds, he wouldn't be this tough to bring down, but you see the heart and the effort from Wandale Robinson. Zero coverage, no safety. Let's see where they attack. They're rolling him deep. Off the edge, Carlotta. He whiffed. Now, Martinez with room. He's got his man at the three. It's Noah. That previous play. Well, he's directing traffic as Martinez down the field. He's got a strong arm. We've seen that in practice. Again, the ball, he had it floated up there. But what made that play possible is what we call zero coverage. And Rupp is in the slot to the left. Oh, nice. Looking for Bell. And oh, that one's picked up. That's Lamar Jackson with the interception. It's something you really love. Took the words right out of my mouth, and he didn't even high point that ball up. Jackson was stumbling on himself on the way down and still was able to get that ball wrestled away from David Bell, who was on the back heel. Both of them really didn't have great timing on that leap, but the fact that Lamar Jackson is so athletic, yeah. he comes up with that ball. Mills on third down with a hole. Good 
Edge with Mills into the secondary and run out of bounds across the 45 by Reggie Pearson. Good job. You can see they just everybody body on a body. They got him running laterally and then they spread the thing open. Martinez moving to buy time. Noah is open and Noah's got it at the match of five. First and goal, Nebraska. Officially now at 104 for J.D. Spielman, the junior for Beaton Prairie, Minnesota. Keeping it, Martinez with a lot of room. Dragged down from behind by Nick Cross. Well, you'll see here, he just reads off Kolka, and he has a wide open lane up the middle of the field, and really fortunate that Nick Cross is able to lay out and stop him, but Adrian Martinez playing well right now and it's reflected in those numbers right there stanley quick drop dolman has it tipped and he tips it to a teammate cam taylor Britt, and a game-changing touchdown the pick six for taylor Britt. job that's a btn standout play if i've seen one presented by auto owners insurance the tip and good concentration by Cam Taylor Britt to watch that one into the hands. Yeah, because it should have been a pick by Dolman. He just it went right through his hands. Taylor Britt showed him how to do it. Well done. That got him right back into this game. 39 yard line of Iowa. Here's McCaffrey on the run, throwing. He's got Spielman wide open. Touchdown, Nebraska. Watch, run Spielman. He just, they're running a scissors route. He ran, as he run, both the, the defenders' eyes were in the backfield. See the eyes in the backfield? And that allows Spielman to get on top of them.